uh, people are more interested into you know what you want to solve or what you want to achieve rather than who you are today people are running up behind packages a lot and i think what is more important is you should look at the larger purpose what you want to do 5 years 10 years 15 years down the line people need to you know connect their story they they need to own their life story So how is it being back in campus, and what do you think has changed since the last time you were here? Uh, so the last time when I was here, it's way back in uh, 2019. So this time I see a lot of uh, greenery. I see uh, a lot of plants around, and there are new buildings. So there is some something called Phase Five, and from views from there it was fantastic. And I guess you guys are blessed with uh, those views. Uh, we didn't have the best facility there. It was absolutely fantastic. So that's it. And uh, to be honest, uh, I find every excuse to come back to campus. So I have a very like a uh, very deep connect with the campus and lot of staff and uh, chechis here. So that's how that's why I come. I try to come every year. Do you have any favorite go-to spots to have good food in and around campus or uh, Kori Kod? There are many, right? But I think uh, one thing which was a uh, surprise for me was wherever you uh, have something called Rasa right now. It used to be a small joint called. Uh, Milma back then, ten okay. years back, okay. but it's been modernized and good that you have a much more better infrastructure. Yeah. yeah, that used to be our. In fact, our gang of friends WhatsApp group is called Milma. So, what made you choose to do an EPGP? What were the factors that led to that decision? That's an interesting question. Normally, people would want to go with the PGP, but there's like new CAD exam and whole lot of. But I'm not that studious, man. And the, you know, IMK what it offers, to, you know, for the people who are experienced. It has a different take to it, right? So you carry a little bit of experience when you come there, yeah. and faculty is there also. They are kind of teaching from their standpoint, but at the same time, on the core, there are participants, there are students who are already carrying like eight, ten years of average experience. So it's like everybody contributes, not just you know faculty. So you learn it from different you know students as well on the core. So that is the best part of it. I want to have that kind of you know that level of exposure, and of course, I am keep brand as you so. Peak of peer learning, huh? Eh? Yeah. And what words of wisdom would you give to people looking forward to doing an EPGP? EPGP? Yeah. Okay, absolutely go for it because you're not going to have any regrets after this thing. And trust me, it's not just you know you learn it from the best faculty of India. It is you know the people, the students as well who are there on the call. They contribute as well. You never know an idea can come you know from anyone's mind, and you can actually dwell on to that. So go for it, and then of course. It's an investment. Returns are always here. Uh, good evening. It's uh, nice to have all the people who have served in defense forces to uh, have them here with us and conduct this interview. Uh, so my quest first question would be: How is it being back in class after serving in the defense forces? It's awesome. We do miss our uh, uniform, but I think the child within us has come back. and we started behaving like that so in class also uh, you know we also uh, ask so many doubts like even if it is kiddish and uh, we like to learn and the best thing we learned here is to unlearn what we learned in defense forces so that's the best part and uh, we feel that energy of student also and that the setup of this i am this class i think this is giving us that push But we still hate homework. We still hate exams. We still hate assignments. Absolutely. I just want to say that. Absolutely. Uh, so networking is an important aspect yep. of MBA life. Do you have any tips and tricks for the upcoming and the junior batch uh, regarding that? Yeah, yeah. So I think there are two parts of networking. One is online. One is offline. Uh, very. It it works very differently. Uh, I think during my session also today, uh, while uh, we were talking about product management and how to you know reach out to few product managers. I always told uh, uh, to everyone, you know, no hello messages. Uh, please do not just write hi, hello. I am from this college. Ye ye wo. Always, you know, talk about what you really want, what you want to discuss. Uh, people are more interested into, you know, what you want to solve or what you want to achieve rather than who you are. I really do not care about whether you are from this college, you have this experience, but I really care about what problems you are trying to solve. So one thing is, by while reaching out, there should not be just hello messages there should be something which immediately i can consume if i can consume immediately let's say there is one ppt or there is one video of yours where you are 
explaining about the problems or if you have already solved something and you are showing it to me hey paris what do you think how i could have done things differently uh, that would really helpful in online in offline what i have seen uh, you know building relationship is easy maintaining them is difficult and while what can happen sometimes you give a impression that uh, you know you build that in a relationship just for uh, your own good uh, it will never work not just in college even in your corporate life if it is not given tick uh, it will not survive so so what is your parting message for the students that you have experienced in the nostalgia this year perfect so thank you for asking this question uh, i think there, there are like three or four things that i would like to tell students uh, i have uh, interacted with 10 plus faculty in the last 3 uh, days i have exp- i have talked to around 100 plus students as well and i think uh, one common thing that comes out is that people are like people need to you know connect their story they they need to own their life story which means that every milestone that you have achieved in your life right so starting from a uh, graduation first job or maybe a masters before coming to imk connect every job with the next or connect every milestone with the next and try and st- say your story or tell your story you know in a, in a, in, a, in a perfect story right so you have to be able to define yourself within two three lines so that the other person understand what your skills are what you bring to the table i think that's very important and something that would help students a lot so that is my message to everybody that please put your life in a story mode and try and be a good storyteller that is how you will sell yourself uh, and the second thing would be again focus on skills uh, try to tell people what skills you bring to the table and that can be hard and soft skills so it's very important that you are upskilling yourself uh, in basics right so excel sheet powerpoint word document that's the hard skills right uh, maybe a bit of coding maybe a bit of tableau on the softer side uh, be confident public speaking take part in debates i think you have toastmasters on campus yes. now so participate in those events uh, try and come out of any shyness that you might have because that is how you will sell yourself i think that's number 2 i think number 3 we have already covered which is around uh, how you uh, engage with mentors how you engage with alumni i think that's uh, another critical part i think the fourth part and the key one is that again uh, try and reflect why you came to campus uh, when you chose to do an mba program you might have something in mind that this will help me propel me to the next level in my growth so if you were doing something before mba try and see how you can upskill from there right uh, because you have spent so much time and effort and money to come to code code and you're staying with your family for 2 years make the most of it and reflect uh, what was your dream job or what is your dream or passion that you want to pursue and then use these 2 years here to upskill yourself in that direction so you should have at least a path uh, defined for yourself that this is how i'll achieve my dreams or this is how i'll achieve my dream job or my dream package it can be anything that you want but again have a path defined for yourself any tips of advice you would like to give to the students sure so i think one very important thing is today people are running up behind packages a lot and i think what is more important is you should look at the larger purpose what you want to do 5 years 10 years 15 years down the line so it should be if you've heard of a concept called ikigai so it should be at the intersection of what you really love doing what you are passionate about what are you good at so what are the hard skills and the soft skills you bring to the table what the world needs in terms of solutions and what you can be paid for and something that you find at the intersection of all these four is something that you should pursue rather than just running behind the highest paid companies and uh, what words of wisdom would you give to people looking forward to do in bcp years okay so what i would say is like uh, you know whatever you want to do in the mba life it, it it means that it's not about you know uh, solving these cases not about studying it's all about uh, like no uh, like a uh, grader also there's there but you know how much you can you know uh, you know crush it share your ideas basically just be free uh, right and do as much uh, possible to uh, you know from the moment when you are there the journey right 
uh, try to you know do some extra things uh, like participate in the I mean, as much in, in this campus we can participate right uh, come to campus and enjoy the uh, you know the campus and also you know some events and also you know uh, just the people uh, get to know uh, this life other than studies so make the most of this time you know because uh, just you should be have bookish knowledge that would not be helping you so that's way you know mp stop been taught been you know experience that journey the enjoying process is important not the, not not the outcome result so you don't know we don't know because it's so fast because you you are managing your work your your personal life and also the studies so if the time will go very fast so you have to be you know manage your time very well that's what advice you should give that uh, that be you know uh, time and have good time management also uh, have no regrets so just enjoy fully and have like very positive mind whatever comes to you and be very strong believe yourself so if your college life had a theme song what would it be uh definitely for me i would say uh, hotel california uh, in guys in case if you guys have uh, listen to that song uh, there is one beautiful line in hotel california that uh, you can check out any time you like uh, but you can never leave and that's that's how this college has to me i can check out i mean whenever i want i can go here from here uh, but then i have never able to i, I mean you know leave the college i always uh, want to come back to this college 